Have you ever wondered how your everyday electronic devices work? From the moment we wake up to the moment we go to bed, we're surrounded by electronics. They're in our phones, our cars, our kitchens, and even our bedrooms. But how many of us truly understand the mechanics behind these devices? Welcome, my friends, to the fascinating world of electronics, a field that not only powers our modern lifestyle but also shapes the future of technology. In today's video, we'll simplify this complex world into easy-to-digest segments. We'll guide you through the process of learning electronics, from understanding why it's such a crucial skill, the role of mathematics, to the depths of electronic systems. We'll also explore the tools that can help you learn and share some tips and tricks to avoid common pitfalls. So buckle up as we embark on this exciting journey of learning electronics. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid foundation to start your exploration into the world of electronics. You might be wondering, why should I learn electronics? Let's dive into that. In this tech-driven age, electronics is the backbone of nearly every gadget we use daily, from our smartphones to our cars. By learning electronics, you're essentially decoding the language of our modern world. But the benefits extend beyond understanding your devices. Electronics is a field that encourages problem-solving and critical thinking. It challenges you to look at a problem, break it down, and find a solution. This is a skill that translates well into many other areas of life. Moreover, knowing electronics enhances your technological literacy. As we move towards a more digital future, this literacy becomes increasingly important. It empowers you to not just use technology but also understand, repair, and even create it. So, electronics isn't just about circuits and wires, it's about understanding and shaping the world around us. Learning electronics, therefore, is not just a hobby but a valuable skill in our modern world. Mathematics and electronics, two inseparable entities. You see, when we delve into the world of electronics, we find ourselves surrounded by equations, functions, and numbers. It's like learning a new language, but instead of words, we have numerals and symbols. Now, you might be thinking, do I need to be a math whiz to understand electronics? Not necessarily. A basic understanding of algebra and trigonometry can go a long way in taking you from a novice to a competent electronics enthusiast. Imagine trying to solve a puzzle without knowing what the final picture should look like. Mathematics provides that final picture in the world of electronics. It's our map, guiding us to understand how components interact, how circuits function, and how to troubleshoot when things go awry. So, never shy away from the numbers, they are your allies in this journey. But what exactly is electronics? At its core, electronics is a branch of science that delves into the behaviors and effects of electrons. It's the study of how to control the flow of these electrons to manipulate information or produce a desired outcome. Imagine a bustling city with roads, highways, and intersections. In this city, the cars are the electrons, and the roads are circuits. Now replace those cars with electrons and the roads with conductors, and you have a basic electronic system. Major players in this city are devices like transistors and microchips. Transistors act as traffic controllers, regulating the flow of electrons, while microchips composed of many transistors perform complex tasks. These components come together to form the electronic devices we use every day, from smartphones to microwaves. So, when you're learning about electronics, you're essentially learning about the invisible city that powers our technology. In essence, electronics is the science that powers our modern world. Electronics runs deeper than you might think. It's a common misconception that electronics is all about hardware. Indeed, hardware forms a substantial part of it. But there's more to the story. Let's delve a little deeper to unravel the full picture. Electronics is a fusion of hardware, software, and firmware. The hardware forms the physical components, the tangible bits that you can touch and feel. But these components would be lifeless without software and firmware, the intangible aspects that breathe life into the hardware. Software is the set of instructions that tells the hardware what to do, and firmware is a specific type of software that provides low-level control for the device's specific hardware. Understanding electronics, therefore, is not just about knowing your resistors from your capacitors. It's about comprehending how these components interact with software and firmware to create the technological marvels that we use every day. Electronics, therefore, goes beyond the surface, diving deep into the heart of technology. Now, what tools do you need to start learning electronics? This is a question that might be on your mind. Well, let's start with the basics. Textbooks are a great starting point. They provide the foundational knowledge needed to understand the principles of electronics. Then there are online courses. 
Platforms like Coursera, Udemy, and Khan Academy offer comprehensive courses that cater to beginners and advanced learners alike. They offer the flexibility to learn at your own pace and often include interactive components that reinforce learning. But learning electronics isn't just about theory, practical application is key, and that's where hands-on kits come in. These kits allow you to apply what you've learned, build circuits, and truly understand how electronics work. And let's not forget about online forums and communities. They are a treasure trove of knowledge, offering insights, advice, and support from fellow enthusiasts. With the right tools and resources, learning electronics becomes a breeze. Beware though of the simplicity trap. As we delve deeper into electronics, it's tempting to oversimplify complex concepts. We might be inclined to simplify things to make them more digestible, but this runs the risk of creating misunderstandings and misconceptions. Consider the concept of current flow, for instance. A simplified version might suggest that current travels from positive to negative terminals. While this is easy to grasp, it's not entirely accurate. In reality, electrons flow from negative to positive. This distinction, while subtle, can make a world of difference when designing and troubleshooting circuits. Moreover, oversimplification can rob us of the richness of understanding. It's like admiring a painting from afar yet missing the intricate details up close. Each stroke, each blend of color contributes to the overall masterpiece. Similarly, a profound understanding of electronics comes from appreciating its complexities not just its simplicities. So always strive for a thorough understanding not just a simple one. It's time to get your hands dirty. Prototyping and schematics are two crucial aspects of learning electronics. They are the hands-on part of the learning process, where you go beyond the theory and dive deep into practical applications. Prototyping is where you turn your theoretical knowledge into a tangible reality. Imagine it as the first draft of your electronic masterpiece. It's where you physically assemble components on a breadboard or a similar platform to test how your circuit works in the real world. Prototyping is essential because it allows you to test your designs before committing them to a more permanent form. It provides a safe space to make mistakes, learn from them, and improve your designs. It's a bit like cooking. You can read as many recipes as you want, but you won't fully understand the process until you actually start chopping vegetables and simmering sauces. On the other hand, schematics are like the blueprints of your electronic designs. They are graphical representations of your circuits, showing how each component is connected to the others. A well-drawn schematic helps you visualize your circuit, understand its flow, and troubleshoot issues. It's like a map guiding you through your electronic journey. Drawing schematics is a skill that goes hand in hand with prototyping. It's a form of communication, a universal language that every electronics enthusiast should master. By drawing schematics, you're not only creating a reference for yourself, but also making it possible for others to understand your work. So, when learning electronics, don't shy away from prototyping and schematics. Embrace them as integral parts of your learning journey. They will provide invaluable insight and understanding, helping you to visualize the invisible world of electronics. To sum it up, prototyping is your hands-on lab and schematics are your guiding map. Together, they form the heart of practical electronics learning. They take you beyond the theory and into the realm of real-world applications. Remember, in electronics, practice makes perfect. That's a wrap on our journey through the world of electronics. We've traversed vast expanses of knowledge starting with the significance of learning electronics. It's not just about wires and circuits but about enhancing our technological literacy and understanding the world around us. We also discussed the pivotal role of mathematics. It's the language of electronics, providing us with the tools to solve complex problems and design innovative solutions. We dug deep into what electronics truly is and how it permeates every aspect of our lives, from the devices we use daily to the systems that keep our world running. We touched on the essential learning tools, the deceptive simplicity trap, and the importance of prototyping and schematics. Remember there's no absolute right or wrong in electronics, just an endless array of possibilities, and it's our curiosity and persistence that will help us navigate this fascinating world. With the knowledge you've gained today, you are one step closer to mastering the world of electronics. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning.